Hi guys and welcome back to another video of Gaming with the Powers. I'm Jake and to back or not to back? That is the question of the day. Uh, in today's video guys, I'm gonna be looking at a Kickstarter project that I have saved. This Kickstarter project has about five days left so this is gonna be my first time looking at the Kickstarter page. I initially saw it and was just like, all right, this looks pretty cool. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna take a look at it at a later date. So I'm gonna be talking about my first impressions of the Kickstarter page, talking about things that I typically look at when I'm looking at backing a game, and then talk about things that I like and maybe not like, and some pros and some cons, and what I might do with the game or what I feel like you should do with the game and give you my opinions on that if you are interested, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the screen where I have the Kickstarter project up, ready to view. Okay guys, so the Kickstarter project we are looking at today is Ecosphera Rewilding the World, okay? So this is a cooperative deck building game where you must restore nature before it is too late. Uh, so the game has five days to go guys. It's got a total of 793 backers and it's got $34,333 raised or pledged out of the goal 9963 So the game is funded. That's always good. Uh, that's kind of... The information, guys, is kind of uh, what I look at, mainly just looking at how many backers and how well it has funded. Um, so I typically look at that first. And then the next thing that I do, guys, when I look at a project is I look at the, uh, the company and see what other projects they have done. Uh, but uh, before I do that, let me just go ahead and tell you that what do I look for or what draws me to a Kickstarter project? Uh, so for me first, it's really the theme and the art of a game, right? Uh, mechanically speaking wise, I don't really care how the mechanics of a game uh, work because I love all mechanics in a game, right? And like, you're probably like, nah, that's dumb. There are some mechanics that you hate and not really, no, I like all mechanics. I lo like area control, deck building, engine building, tableau building. I have my favorite mechanic, but there's never really a game where I look at it and say, those mechanics look terrible, I'm not playing that. Uh, for me, it's the theme. When I look at your game, do I say that's a cool theme and the artwork? Does the artwork look cool? That initially what draws me into the Kickstarter campaign. And then once I'm in there, I look at a bunch of different things like uh, how many players can the game play? What, what is the price point? And then kind of how the game works. And then that's how I kind of go into it from there. But uh, so that's what looks at me worse. So again, for this ecosphere, guys, what drew me to the game was the theme, right? So it's a nature theme, animal theme. Sierra loves those types of games. So I love playing games with her. So I want to try and get games that appeal to both of us. And then um, uh, the artwork. So this is very cool artwork on the game. But again, so I get to the page. I look at the information, guys. I look at the company and see what other, the publishing company and see what other things that they've created. So looking at uh, Jules Bear Games, they have one other project that they backed, which was We Can Play Women Who Change the World. And so I looked at this project. Uh, it was funded. It was successful. Uh, there's not a whole lot of backers, but they were able to ship um, in time. It looked like everybody got their game and there was no real issues. So looking at this game, it looks like you have a reputable uh, people running the project and you will get your game. There should be no issues with that, okay? So then, like I said, the second thing I look at uh, really after all that is price. So before I even look at the game in depth, I look at the price to see if it's in a price point in my range. And this actually is, right? Uh, they have a print and play version for 12 bucks, but the Kickstarter version, the base game is $30, okay? That's a really good price point for me because, you know, there's a lot of Kickstarter projects where it's 55, you know, 50 plus, 100, you know, they can get pretty pricey. So I got a $30 price point entry to get into this game, okay? So I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm interested. Let's keep going ahead and look at it. So let's continue to take a look at Ecosphera. So this is a cooperative deck building game where you need to restore nature before it's too late, okay? Uh, looks like that's kind of the setup. So you got plants, trees, animals, biomes. Let's keep going. So this is a one to four player game. Okay, so you can play it solo. Uh, eight plus and it's got 60 minutes. Okay, so that's really good for me right off the bat, right? It's, it's I can play it solo. I can play a multiplayer cooperative. It's a cooperative game. So, 
you know, that's pretty good. 60 minutes, the length, that's, uh, that's pretty lengthy, um, you know, so, you know, we'll keep looking though. Let's take a look. Okay, so we got to see what is in the $30 pledge. So we get 25 Animal Kingdom cards, you get 30 Plant and Fungi cards, 60 Element cards, uh, 7 Biome tiles, 50 Disaster cards, 12 Ability tokens, 7 Extinction tiles, 16 Card Ability markers, Cardboard box, four, a rule book in four different languages, a digital rule book for all these languages. Um, okay, so that's, that's pretty good um, in a base box. Typically what I would expect from a $30 project, you know, not a whole lot of cards, but the cards do look very good. Let's scroll down and see what that next pledge was. So 45 euro. So this expansion pledge for 50 bucks. You're getting the Kickstarter edition, you get the expansion, which is giving you a 26 card expansion. Uh, face unpredictable situations that will change the rules of the game. Three plant cards, three animal cards with a new ability, and 20 expansion cards. For 50 bucks? Ugh. Uh, that's not really appealing to me. I don't feel like paying 20 bucks for another expansion. Um... Interesting, okay. And then we, for 65, how much is that? That's 50, no, it's 58 bucks for two. Uh, $72, we got the Founders Pack, where it's Kickstarter Edition, Ecosphere Expansion, and three signed posters. Okay, so out of the three uh, pledges, guys, obviously the one that interests me most, that if I were to back, I would go ahead and back at the $30 pledge. Um, again, for me, I'm looking at this real quickly, just thinking I don't feel like paying 20 bucks for a expansion because that's really the only difference. Uh, because I still get all the stretch goals, the print and play version, and a website thank you. So, yeah, I don't think uh, 26 new cards is worth uh, 20 bucks. You know, that's like a dollar fifty per card. Um, I know my math is terrible, but nah, I just don't, um, not for 20 bucks. So again, for me, I'm looking at the $30 pledge. Okay. Stretch goals. What do we got? We got funded, uh, box cars, tiles, token upgraded with a linen finish. That's always good. 16 ability markers. These look like wooden resource markers. That's cool. Uh, two more disaster card designs. Okay. That's cool. Five new animal cards. Ooh, turtle. Sierra's going to love that. Uh, Ecosphere score pad, a double thicker score pad. Oh, I love having a score pad. I love you guys included a score pad. Okay, so those are some not bad, decent stretch goals. I mean, again, this game is not funded a whole lot, so typically uh, something that you would expect. Uh, but I'm glad they got a score pad in there. Uh, how to play the game. So let's look at this. All right. So setting up the game. So you're going to have three rows, it looks like. Uh, one row animal kingdom cards, plant and fungi kingdom cards, three element cards, uh, depending on three to eight cards, depending on the difficulty level. You got biome tiles over here to the left, extinction tiles, disaster cards. Uh, so each player is going to start with, looks like one of each element and two disaster cards, uh, plus ability tokens. Okay. We got six difficulty levels. Uh, mechanics are easy. So you win by achieving the seven biome tiles and you lose by placing the seven extinction tiles. Okay. Uh, all players open four cards from their deck. All right. It's a deck building game at your hand. Uh, with the right combination of element cards, you gain plant cards. If you are missing one single element, you are able to take it from the supply. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, so you use the elements to gain plant cards, and then with the right combination of plants, you're getting animals. Okay, so it's stacking. And then with the right combination of animals, you achieve biomes, okay? So that's kind of cool. It stacks up. So you use your base cards to get plants, use the plants to get animals, use the animals to get these biomes, all right? That's pretty cool. Uh, but if you cannot achieve any plant or animal cards or place a biome tile, you'll receive a disaster card and your turn is over. Oof. If you have three cards of the same element, you will also get a disaster card and your turn is over. All right. Uh, with three disaster cards on your line, your turn ends directly and you will place an extinction tile. Okay. And with four disasters, your turn ends and you will get three extinction tiles. Eee, aye, aye, aye. Uh, luckily, there's extra abilities such as refreshing cards, gaining extra cards, returning a card to the supply, and passing a card to another player. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, each time your turn ends, you remove your line of cards into a discard pile and open four new cards for the next turn. 
Restoring nature will require great cooperation and strategy. Hopefully, you will rewild the world together. Okay, there's the Try It Online the rule book. Looks like how to play videos. There's some reviews. Uh, again, more playthroughs. Meet the team. Showing it off at the different locations. A uh, timeline. So look, it'll be here expected March 2024. Okay. Uh, shipping. Well, let's take a look at shipping. Uh, so one game for USA is going to be about 14 euro. Okay. Uh, that's a pretty hefty price. But again, this is coming from Finland. So you're looking to pay about 16, uh, maybe 18 bucks for shipping. 16, 17, 18 bucks for shipping. So. I mean, shipping prices are kind of getting crazy out of control. Okay. Well, look, guys, this is Ecosphera, all right? So let's let's look at some of these things. So I think for me, some things that really stuck out for me is the price point. So $30 price point, I think that's a good, um, that's good value um, for the game, obviously, on Kickstarter. For me, for some weird reason, guys, what I've noticed is a lot of these games, like the deck building card games when they come out to retail like i can see this game coming out to retail and being like 45 50 bucks and to me at 45 50 bucks i don't think that's good value at all so like if this game interests you at 30 bucks definitely get it pledge it here on kickstarter you're gonna get a lot of value out of that all right so i think for me that's a good pro is it's got good value uh, the second thing is uh, it's a cooperative deck building game, okay, and it has a lot of different modes, right? And what I mean by that is um, it has a lot of different player counts. So it is a solo game as well. You can play this one to four players. So again, talking about value, right? Uh, you know, Sierra, you know, sometimes doesn't like cooperative games. You might not have a big game group. Uh, so in that instance, you can play the game solo. Now, they didn't feature a solo mode at all. So you'd have, I'd have to go look at some of these videos and see maybe somebody tried it solo to see how the solo mode works. But again, just the fact that you can play it solo along with other people as well, um, that's a good sign, right? So that looks like another pro to me. Um, deck building. Um, I love deck building and it's a cooperative game. I love cooperative games. Uh, so that's another plus. If you love cooperative games, you love deck building. I mean, you got a game right here at pretty good value. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of the artwork, um, the theme, right? Let's look at the theme. It's got that nature theme. Uh, the artwork uh, can be off-putting to some people. You know, some people might not look that watercolor, that water brush um, artwork. But to me, it's not that bad. Like... Yeah, look, if I'm being honest, the trees do look kind of bad, but like the animals look pretty cool with the background and the backdrop there. Uh, it's very artistically done, done well artistically. Um, I love these element cards, how they look. And then you even see on the biomes, they got like a little backdrop of, you know, like this desert tile has like a little cactus right here. So to me, the artwork is visually pleasing. Um, but I can see how a lot of people might not like that. So let me talk about some things that you might not like. I can see this game coming to retail about 45 bucks, right? 45 to 50 bucks. So I just told you it's 30 bucks to here, but for shipping, it's going to be about 16 to $18. So you're looking at 46 to $48 in total. If the game is coming out 45 bucks at retail, let's just say $45 at retail, you know, you can just wait and pick this up at your friendly local game store and support them. And you're basically almost paying the exact same price, if not cheaper, um, than getting it in that. And, and I kind of noticed that too. Some of these smaller projects on Kickstarter, guys, they do come to retail at a price point that is a little bit cheaper or right around the game price point plus shipping on Kickstarter. And so... I can see that, that that's kind of a con, a con there. Uh, the second thing I can see is the theme and the artwork, right? Uh, the, the nature theme and the animal theme has been very heavy in this past year. You got Art Nova, you got Meadow. Um, there's a lot of other games that I can think of. I'm trying to look at my uh, games over there, but really I think those are the top two. Art Nova, Meadow, man, I can't think of anything else with animals right off the top of my head. It's very hard. You got a lot of games that you can think of, but 
Um, and then even like it's got plant and fauna. You can add earth to the list. We just got earth. So you might have a lot of games like this in your collection already. So uh, you might want to diversify your theme or your collection and having another nature themed game might not be great for you. And then plus the artwork. I can see how this artwork is very off putting to some people. You know, a lot of people don't like that watermark look and they prefer, they prefer other, um, more realistic pictures okay okay guys so the next thing that i can see as a negative is just the length of the game right uh it's saying 60 minutes here um i don't know if that's surely it's not 60 minutes per player um but if it's 60 minutes this does look like a longer game because again the win condition is going to be fulfilling all of these biome tiles um i can see at four players maybe even three this game being a little over an hour, and to me, for a game that's this simplistic, um, I kind of want a game like this to be a little shorter, right? I want this, you know, this is a very simple game. This looks like a very gamer, board game friendly game that it's like, hey, I can bust this out. You might not be good at board games. You might really not play them a whole lot, but check out this game. It's very simple. You get five cards. You can use these cards to get these cards, to get these cards, to get these cards, and we're trying to work together and so there's not a whole lot of things you can do on your turn. So it's very gamer friendly, but with the length of that, what I found is people who are not really into board games want shorter board games. They don't want super long board games, and so they might get bored easily or frustrated very easily. So I can see the length of that being something as a negative. So again, guys, those are just some things off the top of my head. This is my first impressions of the game. Some pros, some cons. Uh, so what am I doing? Man, I really don't know. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is I think I'm going to end up backing this game, right? Just because for me, I feel like it's a good value. It's a good price point. 30 bucks, even with the shipping. Um, a $48 game or $46 game. Uh, it's got a nature theme, right? Sierra loves these type of games. This looks like a very cool simplistic industry game you know i could probably show this to my mom and my mom would love to play this it's a cooperative game so again it's something you're working together and it's a deck building game i love deck building games <laughs> also i can play this solo um so it's just another game that i can play solo and kind of try that out if uh i'm by myself so for me i'm gonna go ahead and back this game for those reasons um, and so what should you do? Should you guys back this game? Well, look, I'm going to tell you that if you are into deck building games, if you're into cooperative games or even a solo game, I think you should back this game. I think this is good value. Yes, it's the nature theme, but I love the mechanic of being able to like jump to the next tier. You're like upgrading and leveling. And that's kind of cool to me. It's like, I use my elements to get plants and then use those to get animals and then use those to get the biomes, but I gotta watch out for the disaster cards. And so like, I never know what disaster cards I'm getting because it's deck building. And so like, that mechanic is really cool to me. Um, so if you guys are into cooperative games, if you're into deck building games, um, for 30 bucks guys, you get the game, you get the stretch goals, you get the print and play version uh, of, of the game. I think this is good value. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun and like, Look at Tom Vassell's quote. Ecosphere really encourages players to cooperate to solve the puzzle by giving cards, working together in a more unique twist on deck building. So this, this looks like to me, uh, this looks like it's going to be very good at two players for sure. Three might be a little long. Four, eh, it might be real long. I think this will play best at two or three players, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, guys, look. This is Ecosfera, rewilding the world. You guys got five days to back this game. Again, I know there's a lot of great games that have come out in this month, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and back this project because I like it, and it, it looks really fun and unique to me, all right? So go ahead and drop down in the comment box below, guys. What are you doing? Are you backing this project? Um, do, you have, do you have this project on your radar? Are you going to take a look at this project? Um, if there's something that I didn't talk about, or please help me, what is something else 
that you would like to see me do when talking about these Kickstarter projects? That, is there something I didn't talk about? Is there something I can do better? Please help me. I love the constructive criticism. I want to help bring you more awesome content and give you my first impressions. But I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions of this game, taking a look at it, what I like, what I don't like, what I'm doing, and what you guys should do. Y'all hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a great one. Bye.